When we audited the river for litter, we found that more than 50% of the litter in the river was from construction projects. We're experiencing quite a high construction boom around the Backers Marsh area and particularly in areas that are either along the river or where stormwater drains come down and then exit into the river. And unfortunately, directly into the very areas where the platypus are most commonly sighted. Our uh, project aims to reduce that litter at the source, so to be able to help construction sites firstly realise where waste ends up if it blows or gets washed away off their site and also to help find ways to be able to contain that on site more easily. The first step um, in our project was to run a poster competition for um, kids where they could design posters about protecting our local platypus. Then we've been in the process of adapting some of those posters so that they can be used in messaging for construction sites. Construction sites will be given two core flute signs that they can display at their site, stating that they've pledged to be a clean site for platypus and also with reminders about what they can do to stop litter from blowing or flowing off their site. We're also asking construction workers to actually give us tips given that they're on site so they know what works and what doesn't of how other construction sites could reduce the amount of litter that exits their site. Some of the results that we've started to notice so far is that um, there has actually been a reduction in litter coming into the river and the platypus has returned this year directly in the areas where we've conducted litter cleanups as well. So we're really glad that we did some of the auditing because there's platypus swimming through this area and they could have been caught in the litter that was here.